Hello again, right, welcome to Maths Today. So we are going to be doing something different uh, today. So we've done a lot of number work recently, looking at adding and subtracting and number sentences and fact families and lots of things like that. But we're gonna do something pretty much completely different this week. So we're gonna be looking at shapes. So we're gonna start off with 3D shapes. So today's early intention is to recognize a name 3D shapes and there's quite a few 3D shapes to name uh, as well. So some of them you might be familiar with, some of them might not. Some of you might know the not know the official maths name to as well. So we're going to be looking through all of those. But just before we do that, as always, we've got a little uh, starter for ourselves to have a look at. So this is practicing some of the skills that we've been looking at over the last few weeks. So we're going to do some adding to begin with. So you can see at the bottom of my box there on that side, we've got some. Uh, simple uh, arithmetic, so mental math to add. But I've also given you a number track as well. So that was one of the skills we've been practicing over the last couple of weeks, adding with a number uh, track. So uh, for example, here I've got my example three plus two equals five up on the side there, and uh, which I'm going over in my cursor. So we could find the biggest number first on the number track. So it's three plus two. So I find my number three here. And I'm going to do two, uh, adding on two, so I'm adding on two jumps. I'm making it bigger, so I'm going that way. So I added on two jumps. One, two, and then we get to five. Five is my answer. Or you can use your hands. So we can start with three, add two. How many do we have all together? And we've got one, two, three, four, five. You could use another strategy as well. You've got three plus two. You put the big number in your head. So it's three, and we count on four five. So there's lots of different strategies you could use to work these out. So I want you to pause the video, uh, grab yourself a pen and paper or whiteboard and pen and have a go at seeing if you can add these six uh, sums together for me. Okay. Uh, and then unpause the video, we'll go through the answers. Right, so hopefully you've had a go at those down. Just go go through the answers. Give them a tick if you've got them right. If you haven't, have another look to see where you might have gone wrong. Uh, so we've got 5 plus 2 equals 7. 8 plus 1 equals 9. 4 plus 3 equals 7. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 7 plus 2 equals 9. And 5 plus 5 equals 10. Right, so hopefully you've had uh, a good go at those. Hopefully they're all right. If they're not, have a little uh, check to see where you might have gone wrong. If you've got only got one wrong, you might be able to spot your mistake. If you've got lots wrong, uh, let your mum and dad know and they'll have a little practice with you to see if they can, you can catch up with that adding. Right, okay, so we're going to be on to our lesson now. So as I said, we're recognising and naming 3D shapes. So already, so we've got the shapes across the top here and... Um, what I want you to do is see if you can match the shapes to the shape name. So I'm just going to read the shape names out across the bottom uh, so you'll be able to uh, hopefully match them up. So that's cube, pyramid, cone, cuboid, sphere, and cylinder. So I want you to pause the video and see if you can match initially the name of the shape to the actual shape and see how many you get right. So pause the video and then we'll go through it once you've had a go. So don't leave any blanks, just have a good go of what you think uh, it could be. So once again, cube, pyramid, cone, cuboid, sphere and cylinder across the bottom. Right, okay, so hopefully uh, you've had a good go at that, and here are uh, here are the names of those shapes. So we've got the pyramid. So a good way of remembering this is a bit like the pyramids in Egypt, so that we know that they have a pointy top um, and triangle sides. This one is called a sphere. So a sphere is like a globe or a football shape. Uh, is a good way of remembering that. The next one is a cylinder. So cylinder is like the same shape as a can of beans or a, a can of pop. Okay, the next one is a cube. So that orange shape there is a cube. So think about like the cubes that we use for counting in maths. So that's a good way of remembering that. The next one, the green shape there is a cone. So if you turn it upside down, it's like an ice cream cone. That's a good way of remembering that shape. And finally, we've got the purple shape at the end. That's a cuboid. So it's like a stretched cube. Um, so it's like a box shape and um, that's got a cuboid. Right, okay, so we're going to go see if you can name this shape. So we, remembering what we've just said, we said it's like a dice. We use them in maths. It's got square faces, 
It's got eight points. Well done if you've said that this is a cube. Let's see if you've remembered this next shape. So we said it was like a football or a globe. It's got no edges, no uh, one big curved side. And this is called, I'll give you a clue, it begins with a s. I don't know if you said it, sphere. Oh, my E's popped off the other side. Sphere. Okay, we said that this was, wasn't a cube because it had been stretched. So it's got two square sides. So you can see the square on either end. It's got four rectangle faces and it's a bit like a box. It's got eight points, the same as a cube, but it's not a cube because it's a little bit longer and stretched out. Well, it begins with it. It sounds a little bit like a cube, but it is a cuboid. Okay, this next shape, see what you've remembered. Remember, it is a uh, same shape as like a can or a, um, a tin. It's got a circle face on the top, circle face at the bottom, and then it's one big curved side all the way around. But a little, another little bit of a clue begins with a s sound. Well done if you said it's a cylinder. Okay, and this next shape, remember what we said about this one's a clue. It's got a circle, one circle face. It's got one curved side all the way around. Remember, we said if you turn it upside down, it kind of looks like something you put in ice cream. Well done if you've said it's a k cone. And the next shape. Remember when we said that there are lots of these in Egypt. A pointy top, triangle sides. It begins with a p sound. Well, if you said it's a pyramid. I don't know what's gone wrong with all my uh, writing today. Sorry about that. Okay, right. So we've got a reasoning question now. So this is uh, a thumb up or a thumb down. So Kat says, this shape is a cylinder. Is she right? Pause the video and not only say if she's right or wrong, but then also tell us how you know she's either right or how you know that she's wrong. Pause the video, have a little think about your answer. So I think she's right because, or I think she's wrong because. Okay, right. Well, if you said, no, she's not right. This shape is a sphere because it's got one curved face and a cylinder we know is a bit like a tin or a can and it's got two circle flat faces and one big curved face. So she was not right. Right. Have a little think about this one as well. Kat says, this shape is a cone. Is this true or false? So have a think. Cat is right because, or cat is wrong because. Pause the video and have a little, a few seconds to think about your answer. How do you know? Okay, well, if you said no, this is not a cone. It's sort of similar, but this shape is a pyramid because at the base we've got a square rather than a circle. And also, a cone has got a smooth, curved face all the way around. So if you turn it upside down, it's similar, but not quite the same. Okay, I've got a problem-solving question for you now. So part of this shape has been splatted. I've spilt my coffee like I normally do at school anyway. I've spilt it on the shape. What shape is this, and how do you know? Can you help me? Because part of it is hidden from view. Pause the video, have a think about what shape you think it is and why do you think it's that shape? Pause and think of your answer. Okay, well done if you've said it is a cube. So we know it's a cube because we can actually see some of the square faces. Um, and if it's, got, if it's got three square faces, which we can kind of see there, we know it's going to be a cube rather than a cuboid. Right, what about this shape then? I've spilled some more coffee. Clumsy Mr. Healed. So what shape do you think this is? Not only that, how do you know it's that shape? Pause the video and have a little think of your answer. Right, okay, well done if you've said that this is a cone. 
And of course we know that because it has a point at the top and we can see there at the bottom, it's a circular face and it's got a cu one curved face all the way around. So well done if you've said it's a cone. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do on the sheet today is to match the shape to its name. So uh, similar to that first slide that we had, so we've got the shapes down the left-hand side and we've got the names down the right-hand side. You've got to draw a line from the dot next to the shape to the shape name. So you might need a little bit of help with this, though, to read some of the words because they are quite tricky words. They're not uh, nice words to sound out, really, these ones. So the top one is cuboid. Then we've got cone, cube, cylinder, sphere, and pyramid. Um, so match up the shape name to the right shape. The second question here... Uh, we've got a little task. So 2A is circle the cuboids and tick the cones in that first row. And in the second row, there at the top there we can see, you need to uh, circle the spheres and tick the cylinders. Then you can have, and then we've got some other challenges. So you must have a go at these first ones. So they've got the one star challenge. Again, that's silly spilt coffee. It's spilt all over those 3D shapes. So what shape is the first one? Tick the correct shape. Then we've got a green shape there as well. Then the two, if you found those easy, have a go at these two star challenge ones. So not only have you got to tick the right shape, that you've also got to explain how you know it's the right one. What can you see there? Uh, and then the last question, if you're feeling really confident with those, you can see which shape has been covered by my coffee splodge here and how do you know? So I've not given you any clues of what it might be. So that's the task for today. I uh, hope you had a really nice weekend and good luck with today's maths.